Chuck, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Um, is it is it Everest? Yeah, yeah, Mount Everest. Mount yeah. Everest. And tallest compared to what? K2. Okay. <laughs> that's, I can tell that's the only other possible answer you could give in this session. That's uh, all. K2. That's K1. K1. That's K2. K2. Is that the North Face. That's it. <laughs> that's all you got. That's, that's all you got for me. Uh, hey, and any other any other clothing that might uh, like Patagonia or anything. <laughs> that's that's all I know. Because let me tell you something. Yeah. You, <laughs> let me tell you what you will not find on the top of any mountain. This black, black man, man right here. Okay, <laughs> you will not find you, my. No, no, black you could be, you could buy, you you could go if there's snow on the mountain. That's not a mountain you're gonna be on. Yeah, you could yeah. go to win Martin Luther King's mountain where he sees the promise. Let me, let me like, just that, tell that you this: that mountain didn't have snow. I'm mountain sorry. Have snow. <laughs> I gotta tell Brother Martin, I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a wave to you from the bottom base camp. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you to get. I'm gonna wait for you to get back down here and tell me everything's okay. <laughs> I've been to the mountaintop, and I'm like, good for you. Can you take a picture, put it on Instagram? I would like to see it. Okay. He would say, no, not Mount Everest. I'm talking about that other mountain with no snow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, how do they measure the height of? It's the height relative to what? I, oh well, they always height. say sea level. Exactly. Height above sea level. Okay. Well, right. how high is sea level? Okay. Have you thought about that? I've I got to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, and I'm, I'm really ashamed of this right now. I have never thought about that once in my life. Like, okay, and it's uh, 15 feet above sea level. Yeah, well, how, <laughs> well, how high is sea level? <laughs> well, what are you writing a book? You smart ass, shut up. It's 15 feet above sea level. <laughs> How high is sea level? It's How's an important high question. Sea level? Okay. If no land came above the ocean level, okay? Okay. And the whole earth were just sea level. Because earth is not a perfect sphere, mm -hmm. the parts of the sea that's at the equator. Right. will be farther away from Earth's center than the parts of the sea that are at the poles. So sea level is not an equidistant thing from the center of the Earth. All right. Oh, oh, are we okay with that? So far, that makes sense. Can you handle the truth here? Okay. So Earth is slightly flattened at the poles and slightly fatter at the equator. So if you measure the diameter of Earth at the equator, it is several thousand miles wider than the distance from the North Pole to the South Pole. Okay. Got that? All right. Okay. Not only that, Earth is slightly wider below the equator than at the equator. Now we are a little Bonita apple bottom. We, we went a little pear shape. <laughs> we are pear shape. We are pear shape. Okay. What that means is if you're a mountain okay. near the equator, you get a few extra thousand miles head start if you're in the competition for the tip of the mountain being farthest from Earth's center. Aha, uh -huh. I got you. You get it several thousand. Okay. So ask me, what is the highest mountain from Earth's center? What is the highest mountain from Earth's center? It is not Mount Everest. Itself is the 10th highest summit uh -huh. from Earth's center. 10th. Let me guess. The highest mountain from center is somewhere in Africa. Okay, so that's a good guess. It's wrong, but a really excellent <laughs> guess. Um, <laughs> it's completely wrong, but it's okay. a good guess. All okay. Right. Okay, okay. Go ahead. The top... Five peaks, the top five peaks, distance from Earth's center are all in South America. Oh, and the in number South one peak America. is, yes, Mount Chimborazo. 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 In Ecuador. In Ecuador. And guess what the latitude is of Ecuador? Zero, maybe? Because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh, wow. So, the, so this mountain is one degree. South of the equator in wow. Ecuador. 
Okay. And then Peru has the next two. And then Ecuador again. And then Peru. And then the sixth highest summit from the center of the earth is indeed in Africa. And just name it correctly, even if you guess. I don't know. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. There it is. So South America has eight of the top 10 peaks. Uh, Africa has the sixth highest peak against Earth center. And then Mount Everest coming in a 10th in Asia. And what's what's, what's eight and nine? Like two three-story buildings in Ecuador? <laughs> no, they're real mountains, dude. Give me, give, okay. give me a break. No, they're, okay. And okay. another thing about Chimbazaro, it's the it's the cone of a dormant volcano. Oh, so I think it has the highest ascent from its base of any mountain in the world, other than certain volcanic mountains that begin at the bottom of the ocean, such as the Big Island of Hawaii. That's the single biggest mountain on Earth, but most of it is below sea level okay uh-huh. so chimbazar right. rises up a very, quite impressively as a result of this whereas k1 uh, you know uh, k1 is like slightly higher than k2 and the entire himalayan mountain range it right. helps the, all the peaks out right so you don't see this major ascent from the base as you otherwise would right so i'm just saying that's 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 how that's that's what it looks like and at the top of that peak you would weigh way less than at any other place on Earth. Not only because you're farthest from Earth's center, you are also near the equator, and the spinning Earth is trying to fling you off. So there's a centrifugal force as well. So that is the lightest you could possibly weigh relative to if you were standing on the North Pole. Well, I'm going there as soon as I can. (laughs) (laughs) Just told me my next place to live. Just to lose some weight. Is that what you're saying? Listen, it's so much better than what I'm trying to do now. But but if I just plunk you there, you would have lost weight, but you would not have gotten any smaller. Well, you can't have everything. (laughs) Because, you know, (laughs) Weight Watchers is really mass watchers. Right. right? If you want to lose weight, you can just go to the top of a mountain or just go into space or go onto the moon. You'll lose weight there immediately but you'll still carry all the fat that you might've been trying to get rid of. So really, like I said, Weight Watchers is a mass watchers. You want to lose weight, you're really trying to lose mass. I'm just trying to put it out there. We got to go. All right. There you go. That, that was that was very cool. Very cool. Chuck, my co-host in all these matters, especially the explainer ones. As always, keep looking up. <laughs>